at the end of 2019, I was already planning on gearing up like to release Supermoon. I had um I was like kind of silent for a little bit. Not like super silent. I was dropping like here and there. But like I went through like obviously we're not gonna get too deep into the situation, but like with uh he my man's he's still my boy, but like at the time, like we wasn't seeing eye to eye like the producer that um that I'd worked with for literally four and a half years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Tough, yeah. Um and I legit like lost all that music, bro. Like Damn. all the music that I was planning on changing my life and oh, the fuck fucking world happen? with. Yeah, like, what do you like? What is that? That's he can't put though. out the music anymore because he doesn't want the song out because of the production kinda or something. Like, like it was kind of something. It was kind of something. Nah, shit. like we had the files. It was just kind of sort of just like disagreements, bro. Business you know what I'm saying? more yeah. music, and it wasn't even really a business thing. Like, like because like I said, this is my boy. This is my brother. Yeah, you know what I mean, right. and he was like, he was just he was going through a lot of shit personally at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and like. It was to the point where it's like I really just need to be there for him as a human being, as yeah. a first you know and foremost. Yeah, first yeah, and for foremost, sure. like before the music shit, you know what I'm saying? Which um, you know, obviously, you know, was just had this disadvantage for me with like I said, we're working on music for four and a half years, bro. I still haven't put that that music out, by the way. I plan to. Because like when we were working on that for all those years, it was because I was focused on making timeless records. I was focused on making something that was going to last 50 years from now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was literally the focus. Like that the the whole concept of that of that album is literally timeless. Like the name of it was Tina, T I N A, T I N A A. This is not an album. Like it was like a piece of time, bro. It was supposed to be like an art piece that you can like invest in and like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is something we're going to turn back to like I still plan on moving forward with that. But once that whole situation happened, and I was like three years where I don't have my music and I'm like struggling, you know what I'm saying? To like create, you know, I'm going through shit with my family, like all of that type of stuff. And Life. that's how Supermoon came about because I was like, all right, I need to do this like how I used to do it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like build these resources from, the, from scratch, build these resources from scratch and like start working on, I want to start working on something in my way. Because like, you know, when me and my boy was working together, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're combining ideas, you know, and like there was getting to a point where like I didn't feel as though it was like I had all the room to do what Full it creative is. creative control. 100%. And, Nick, and anybody that know me, they know that my creative mind blows past like whatever room I'm in. Oh, like it's not did. like water. Is that you a know frustrating what I'm thing? Um, sometimes. Especially but when it's working with artists or collabing? Yeah, because it can be a hold up. But it's not frustrating when you're... If you have that tunnel vision, bro, I have a mentality was like, no matter what, the shit's getting done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it don't fucking matter, bro. Where that's a hold up, that's a hurdle, that's a whatever. We jump over that, the shit's getting the fuck done. I think solution, no, not problem. Every time. That's Anytime shit happens, I go right to solution, fuck the problem. You can't do nothing about the problem. 100. And that's where I was at with the Supermoons. Like, Cause I had already, I felt like I had already wasted so much time. I had so much music that I had created. And, um, so I'm like, word, I'm gonna start this this project. I'll start up Supermoon. And like what that meant was like, I felt like I was changing, you know what I'm saying? And we all know like the moon controls a lot of the state that we live in. You know tides what I'm saying? The tides, the waves, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I felt like this was a new wave of myself that mm -hmm. like I was presenting to the world. And a supermoon is an incredibly rare occurrence. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. They don't happen often. And I felt like this was like a rare thing for me. Like I was going through like a crazy learning phase that I didn't even ask for. You know what I'm saying? It was like with the whole situation happening with my boy and the, and the music and then like family and just like not making music and putting shit out. I was like, all right, word. Like this is like my ultimate like learning phase. You know what I'm saying? Like a moon phase. Mm -hmm. So like that's how Supermoon came about. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that was like my rare point in my life where I was like, all right, word. I really need to stop what the fuck I'm doing because I had lost my power. I felt like I wasn't a star. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for a minute. You? you know what I'm saying? That's your name, bro. So how you dogs. not feel your name? And because, like I said before, there's a weight that holds behind that name, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not putting, if I feel as though I'm not putting what I what I feel as though I'm capable of all the way. And like I said, at this time, I was just going through a whole bunch of things. So I was like blind. You know what I mean? So if I'm not doing what I, what I feel as I'm capable of, then it's like there was no weight to the name, period. Because yeah. oh, in... In life, bro, you got to step, recognize your power, step into it, and then you walk it.